a license and registration, please. You were actually swerving back and forth between lanes. I was just really trying to dodge all of those potholes. Have you been drinking today? No, no, officer. Step out. All right, I'm gonna need you to take a breathalyzer test. See, all zeros, man. Yeah, this machine's broken. Wait, wait, what? You're clearly intoxicated. You're I said turn around. Oh my God. In. A license and registration, please. Uh, yeah, sure. How you doing, officer? Good. All right. You, you know why I pulled you over today? Um, well, I was doing the speed limit, so I'm not sure. No, I don't know. That's not the issue. But you were actually swerving back and forth between lanes. Oh, you mean back on 2nd Avenue back there? Yeah, that's oh. correct. You were all over the road. Yes, I could explain that, officer. Well. I was just really trying to dodge all of those potholes on that street back there. Have you seen it lately? Have you been drinking today? Drinking? No. Why would I? No, no, officer. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Do I look Irish to you? My mother's Irish. What do you mean by that? Okay. Listen, officer. I mean no disrespect at all. But I'm clearly sober. And the only explanation I have for me swerving on those roads back there was because I was just trying to not damage my vehicle. Okay, so if you haven't been drinking, then you wouldn't be opposed to taking a field sobriety test, right? Uh, uh, are you serious right now? Do I look like I'm joking? Step out. <sighs> All right. Got to kid you, man. If you insist. Right here? I want you to keep your eyes on the pen. Stand still, please, and watch it as it moves back and forth. Okay. Oh. All right. How was that? Not bad. I want you to take nine paces forward, turn around, and take nine back. One foot in front of the other, please. Come on. All righty. Go. Six, seven, eight. Turn around, nine. turn around. All right. You see, officer? Isn't this the smoothest walk you've ever seen? I mean, seriously, I should be on the runway for Dolce & Gabbana with this smooth walk right here. How you like me now? Yes, very impressive. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna need you to take a breathalyzer test. Are you? Serious? You can't be serious right now. Blow into this, please. All right. How's, how's that? See? All zeros, man. I think something's wrong with this machine. I want you to do it again a little bit longer. All right, all right, relax. I'm relaxed. Okay. Booyah! I blew zero twice in a row. Well, this confirms it. It sure does. Yeah, this machine's broken. Wait, wait, what? You're clearly intoxicated. Officer, I haven't had a drink in weeks. It may not be alcohol, but it might be marijuana, smack, or pills. No, no. Officer, I understand I do have dreads in my hair, but that doesn't mean I smoke marijuana, okay? Or anything like that. You're clearly intoxicated. I need you to turn around. You're under arrest for driving while you're intoxicated. What? What are you talking about, officer? I'm being prosecuted for no reason. Turn around. Come on, man. You, you gotta give me a I break. said turn around. Oh my God. You gotta be kidding me, man. Yeah. Unbelievable. This is grave injustice, man. Come on, less talking, more walking. I need a lawyer, like ASAP, right now. I can't believe it. Sit down and shut up. Are you s Yeah, I'm serious, get in. This ain't right, man. I want my lawyer. Right. In.
Good morning, Officer Chambers. How's it going, Captain? You have everything here under control? I sure do now, yeah. That's good. I'm just curious, why do you have this young man in custody? Oh, he was driving under the influence. You mind letting the window down oh, so yeah, I can sure. hear him, what he's saying? I am not intoxicated. I passed the breathalyzer. Hey, I thought I told you to shut up. What? What is he talking about? He claims he was sober. The guy was swerving all over the road. And plus, he claims that he's not intoxicated, but I could tell by the look in his eyes. Officer, I passed the breathalyzer twice. Twice, bro. Step out for a second, sir. Come on out. Oh, my goodness. You stand right here. Now, what's this about you blew into a breathalyzer? Yes, sir. I'm clearly not intoxicated, so I voluntarily took the breathalyzer test and I passed with flying colors with no problem at all. I, I think the machine's broken. It's broken. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Don't worry about it. We can use mine. <sighs> Sir? You mind blowing into this machine again? I don't mind at all. I have nothing to hide. See? All zeros. I'm three for three. I'm like Stephen Curry of breathalyzers, man. This can't be. <laughs> it can, and it is. Turn around for me, sir. Ah. Thank you, officer. Sir, I'm sorry about the inconvenience. You're free to go. I appreciate that, officer. You're a true gentleman and a scholar. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good luck with that one. Drive carefully, sir. Thank you. You mind telling me what happened? Captain, honestly, I swear, I, I, I could have sworn the guy was intoxicated. He had a glossy, glazed look in his eyes. I mean, you didn't notice that? You did the field sobriety exams, correct? Yeah. Okay, now besides the breathalyzer, what were the results of the exam? He passed with flying colors. He passed with flying colors. You still arrested him even though he passed with flying colors? <sighs> yes, yes, Captain. You know, speaking of colors, I'm just curious. If he were a white man, would you have behaved in this manner? Captain. It's a simple question. I'm sorry, Captain, I made a mistake. You know, apologies are just words if there's no action to correct them. This isn't an isolated incident. This has been a recurring problem. But guess what? What? Today, I'm gonna solve that problem. I'm placing you on suspension indefinitely without pay. The department, they're gonna hold an investigation to determine what your fate's gonna be. Captain, you can't do this. This job is all I have. Well, you know what? Maybe you should have thought about that before abusing your power. Power aligned with ignorance is a ferocious beast to justice. We hold our officers to a higher standard, and I'm sorry you fell below that standard. Captain, please, I'm sorry. I can change. Anything you need me to do. We all have to suffer the consequences of our actions and decisions. And, and don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you can't change, but you haven't proven it so far. The rest is up to you. Yes, Captain. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to the station, go to my office, and wait for me until I get there. You understand? Yes, Captain. Go on now. <laughs> 